Okay, so I want to try something a little bit different. I want to just do a voiceover for this video as I'm watching this with you. So, and kind of give you my thoughts. But this piece that I'm working on, I've had for about three years. I found a stump in, in a, uh, an area where they're doing a road project and it had a really unique shape. Uh, so I got a chainsaw and, and uh, cut a section out, but it, it was a little bit thinner than I wanted, so it kind of cupped. And I didn't know any better at the time to try to keep it flat, but uh, it's got some really bad cracks in it, so I need to put some bow ties in it. I'm going to use my X-Carb to cut out some bow ties out of this leftover material from a different project. Now, I'll leave a, I'm going to leave a link down in uh, the description to Inventables in case you're interested in an X-Carb. Uh, just full disclaimer, that's a, an affiliate link for me. Uh, so if you're interested in the next carve, check out that link. Now, the material that I'm cutting this out of is, uh, now this is made by Paper Stone, and it's recycled paper with infused resin. Uh, I use this as a countertop in my outdoor kitchen. I just finished that project, and I absolutely love how it turned out. I'll leave a link down below for that video as well in case you missed that one. But the bow ties turned out great. I didn't have a bit that was long enough to cut all the way through, so that's why I got to finish it up at the bandsaw, uh, which was okay because I'm going to end up cutting this or resawing this, if you will, uh, just to make a thinner bow tie. That way I don't have to remove as much material uh, out of that slab or the mortise, I guess you could say. That way it, it, it'll just be thinner and, and a more shallow, uh, easier to work with. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to resaw this, and I've got two different sizes, uh, but this will give me the bow ties that I need. And I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the first time you've heard recycled paper bow ties. So there you go. You heard it here first. Now, when it came time to remove the material out of the slab or the wall art piece, I'm using my router, and that just makes a total mess. It's dusty. And so I want to talk about Filter By. They're the sponsor of today's video. Uh, filter by is a family-owned business uh, all the filters are made right here in america and all orders uh, ship for free within 24 hours which is really cool and if you sign up for their subscription service where you don't have to remember to change out your filters in your house uh, you can save five percent for signing up for that so be sure and check out filter by i got them linked below uh, and give them a visit now i wasn't real sure on how the bow ties were going to interact with the wood glue so off camera and to be honest i i think i just lost the footage of me adding some ca glue to around the around the edges of the bow ties i did that just to make sure they would stay in place and and after that they were really secure and i wasn't worried about them falling out or anything so that worked out really well and i've got i've got two bow ties in this uh the area that i'm sanding right here that's the one that's really important because that crack is all the way through and without that bow tie this thing was really shaky and uh, just unstable so uh, I'm just sanding everything down sanding the edges off the bow ties that I didn't get fully seated uh, because this thing's cupped that was kind of hard to do so but I was really happy with how that came out I didn't get all of the uh, mark chainsaw marks out of this but that's okay it just adds character uh, so I got the bow tie secured got everything sanded it, good enough that I was happy with it and so I started putting uh, some exterior general finishes uh, finish on it uh, and the grain just really popped on this I was really happy with how this how this turned out so you can see how this came together it's just uh, you know a decorative piece in my outdoor kitchen um, and it's just nice to look at so I'm gonna let you have a look at this thing in its element and I'll be back with you in just a second
Before you go, be sure and check out the links that are here on the screen or linked down in the description below. I would love for you to just check out the other videos that I've got here on the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching.